Snakes, lizards and turtles are increasingly being welcomed into Australian homes as pets. Since the start of the pandemic, more than 170,000 households have bought a reptile and one of the biggest collections is in Sydney's northwest. In Australia's biggest pet store, scales are the new black. This is Rosie, the beautiful little spotted python. I can't believe I'm saying this, but she's actually quite cute. She is, yeah, and that's often what I hear. When you see them up close, they're actually quite, quite beautiful and very shy, gentle. Rosie is fully grown and enjoys a diet of frozen mice once fortnightly. Pets like her are becoming more popular. Ownership of reptiles has jumped 25% since 2019. More than half a million are kept as pets in 315,000 homes across Australia. It's been incredible to see the, the massive growth. Um, in particular, that was accelerated through COVID. Turtles, possibly the cutest, definitely the biggest commitment. They can live for between 50 and 60 years if they're, they're looked after well, um, but they are probably one of the more high maintenance reptiles. So they need to be fed a lot more frequently and they live in an aquatic environment. But the king of Kellyville pets and top choice for customers is the bearded dragon. And this is a little six week old baby. They're packed full of personality. Um, they're very interactive. So for kids that want a reptile that they can touch and hold. 12 year old Andrew Coucher is one of those kids. How cute are they? He has his very own dragon at home. Her name is Pixie. They can be very affectionate. They can like sit on your shoulder. They're great to like cuddle with. Cuddles aside, their food might turn you off. They dine on live insects, including crickets and cockroaches. On the plus side, reptile care typically takes less time, space and cash than a traditional pet, costing an average $750 a year. It's not an insignificant cost, but it can be much more affordable than, say, a dog or a cat where you're talking three or $4,000. In Australia, you can legally only have native reptiles as pets, so Larry the albino blue tongue could be the perfect little guy to welcome into the family. In New South Wales, if you want to hold a reptile, a native reptile, you'll need a licence. And the best way of gaining a licence is through the Service New South Wales website. To give a lovable python a place to call home. Annalise Bolt, Nine News.